What's going on, young wolf? Back at you again with another reaction. Okay, so we're skipping the fillers. I know some of you wanted me to watch them. Some of you didn't care. And because some of you didn't care, I was like, all right, it seems like it's okay to skip this like 40 episode long filler arc. Oh, I may watch it when I'm done. I may, although don't get your hopes up because there's a lot of anime TV shows that I want to watch on this channel. Like there's an endless amount, right? And I won't ever get there if I, if I watch fucking fillers, you know what I'm saying? So don't get your hopes up. But uh, I did watch a couple. I watched um, episode zero, apparently, uh, like the day or week before Ichigo became a Shinigami. Uh, and we, we saw when Rukia actually entered the human world in the War of the Living at Karakura Town, you know what I'm saying? So that was kind of nice to see whatever, how, how everything was going down just before, uh, you know, Ruk Rukia made uh, Ichigo a Shinigami, you know what I'm saying? And um, also, Renji was apparently a new lieutenant. And uh, everyone was pretty much aware that <laughs> Renji uh, was pretty much in love with Rookie, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't, uh, it wasn't a secret. Um, but then, we also got, after episode zero, another filler episode, which, if I'm gonna be honest, it's probably the best filler episode that I've ever, that I've ever watched of all time. It was the Bleach Beach episode. Now, um, <laughs> it's my favorite episode, or favorite filler episode for a few reasons here. One. Obviously, Yoriuchi, Matsumoto, Nemu, Isane, Nanao, Unohana, Soifon even, like, some of these girls was looking good. Some of them I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even, I didn't even think looked good before that episode, but in that episode, they were looking mighty good, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that was one reason, obviously. Women in bikinis, I mean, geez, as a straight male, two thumbs up on that, on that front, you know what I'm saying? Um, but also, they threw a little, they threw a little comedy in there, um, in that, <laughs> it, it feels even weird mentioning this, but I have to because it was kind of the highlight of the show, to be honest. They threw in some comedy, uh, or some parody even, they threw in a watermelon tentacle monster, and they had it grab the almost naked woman. Now, if you are a degenerate like I am, you know what tentacles mean in anime. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, they fucking... Once, when they killed the watermelon monster, all of its juices sprayed all over Orohime, and she was licking it. Now, I don't have to tell you what the fuck that means, but let's just say it was pretty hilarious. <laughs> so yeah, that filler was... I definitely was glad I watched it. It was fucking hilarious. I was laughing half of the episode, and I was definitely gazing upon Yoriyuchi and Matsumoto. God damn! Like normally, I'm not with the whole busty, promiscuous girl kind of thing because it's honestly a turnoff. But that episode, I was digging it. I was digging it. Anyway, all the funny shit is over. We're skipping 40 filler episodes. And now we're in the canon, and guess what? One, two. Three, four, the top four espadas are all lined up. They all have their matchups. Number four, Ichigo versus Urukuda. Number three, Toshiro versus Haribel, which I need to see her release form. Oh my god, she's already, she already looks good in, in, in her regular state. So if her release form looks good, mm, she might make it to that top three best girl list. Number two, which is apparently Baragon against Soifon and Omaida. But honestly, Omaida could fuck off. I don't. He's he's not he's not even funny anymore to me. So yeah, he, and he seems pretty weak. So honestly, let Soifon handle this. And and yeah, <clears throat> and of course the pr Primera Espada. Stark, which I actually didn't, I didn't even think he was number one just because of his attitude, right? He's like very nonchalant and aloof, much like Hiraku, which is his opponent. So that fight should be lit as well. So a lot of great fights lined up. Captains and Ichigo versus Espadas. I mean, can it get any better? I get, you know what? It can, because Aizen is still trapped in that ring of fire where he's probably going to go up against Yamamoto. And we have seen just a little taste of, Yama, of uh, Yamamoto and just how strong he is. He pretty much two-shot a, a a hollow being that was able to 1v4 uh, the lieutenants of the Gotei 13. So he's pretty damn strong as well. So we got our, we, we have our matchups, we have our hype, 
and um, I mean, I'm ready to fucking watch this shit. Also, I am very aware, I mean, you guys keep fucking spamming me. Uh, I'm very aware that Ichigo vs. Urukura is coming up very soon. So, um, and as you guys know, the copyright gods are, for some fucking reason, paying very close attention to my channel, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make these regular YouTube videos the way I've been making them. Obviously, I'm gonna I'm gonna check I'm gonna try keep improving them so you guys have a better viewing experience. But when the fight does come up, I'm gonna have a better version of it somewhere on some other website for free. It's not gonna get you have to pay for shit because I mean I kind of owe you guys that. I mean you guys are the reason why I have so many goddamn subscribers in in, in the two months that I've been on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So. I will be doing that, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna fucking be free, don't worry about it, you ain't gotta pay for shit, you know? Maybe in the future I'll have some Patreon paying bullshit, but for now, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that because, I mean, you know, I just, yeah. So yeah, just just expect when Ichigo vs. Urukura comes up, there will be another version, probably in the link in the description, somewhere, when that fight comes up, and uh, I will have the full fight there with barely any cuts with uh, no, with barely any fade, um, with a louder audio, basically a better viewing experience for y'all, right? It's basically gonna, gonna be a full reaction, you know, none of that, none of that bullshit <clears throat> where I have to cover the screen. And trust me, I have to cover the screen. The reason why I have to structure the videos the way I structure them is because, um, I've, I've, I've been testing all these, all these Bleach, Shippuden, Hunter x Hunter episodes you guys have been watching recently, they're all not the first versions. They're all like the fourth or fifth version, so I'm, I keep testing and testing to see, you know, what my limits are as far as what I can show, how loud the audio can be, blah 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 blah. So, trust me, I'm trying to figure out the best way to give you guys the best viewing experience. But, like I said, it's gonna take some time. It's not gonna be immediate. It'll probably take like a couple, a couple weeks or maybe even a month. But once I get there, I'll find a nice little editing style to where we you can all enjoy the anime. And of course, eventually I'll have a way to where you guys can actually watch pretty much full reactions on another website. But, in any case. That was way too long of an intro, I'm sorry, but I make timestamps for it anyway if you want to skip it, so there's that. Um, okay, so, also if you're if you're wondering what animes I've already watched, because I see people constantly commenting, um, fucking, or, or they, they keep suggest, suggesting anime, and that's anime that I've already watched, and, that, and if you're wondering where that is, there's, I, in every single video, I link a myanimelist.com description in, in the description. So if you just click there, you'll see all the animes that I watch. And of course, I'm going to add onto that when I finish these animes on this channel, you know what I'm saying? So I, I wish I could unwatch Attack on Titan, Death Note, fucking My Hero Academia, One Punch Man. I wish I could unwatch those shows and post it on this channel, but I can't because it wouldn't be genuine. I could fake it. Like, oh, I, did, I didn't actually watch it, but no. That would that'd be fake. That wouldn't be genuine. That's why I'm not doing that. I wish I could, but I ain't doing it. You feel me? Anyway, let's fucking watch these episodes, bro. I'm ready to watch some hype shit. I'm ready to see some fights. Bleach episodes 267 and 268. So I believe the... So let's see. One, two, three Espadas are in the real world, right? Um, fucking four Urukura is there. Five is down, six is down, seven is down, eight is down, nine is down? Right? We we beat those five, right? Okay, so I believe there is Yami and Urukura, the original duo that we first saw. Fucking Nappa and Vegeta left in Last No Chase, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that's it. Okay, cool. So we gotta deal with those assholes. Yami, sh Yami should be easy, but Urukura, that's all Ichigo right there. Oh shit. Okay. There's his release form. Fucking skull lightning ass motherfucker. Bankai. We need more bankais. I missed. I'm. 
Um, honestly, one, one of the best parts of the Bankai is when they go, Bankai! You know what I'm saying? We need more of that. Oi! God damn! <laughs> That's so sick. <laughs> Ooh! Yabasha! Is that first blood? I think that's first blood. Good shoot, Ichigo. Alright, so he's clearly gotten stronger since Grimjo. Because normally he would need to take out his mask immediately for Urukura, but looks like he's doing alright. Oh, that pissed him off. Low key, maybe. He's been hanging out with Orihime a lot, the most innocent person on the show. Low key. That was kind of fire, Ichigo. <laughs> Shit. Oh, the fucking left hook of destiny. Let's go. Damn, that attack is so sick, bro. <laughs> you know, I hope one day they just give Chad a whole fucking hollow armor. armor. You know, left arm, right arm, right leg, left leg. Just give him a Megazord suit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that'd be... That'd make my day, bro. Even though they may, they're they making him to be a weaker character, he's definitely still in my top five. He's way too cool. I mean, I mean, technically we should 2v1 him, but even I think Ichigo wants to 1v1 just because of the fucking whole warrior bar pride battle thing. Oh, smart. All right. Well, Ichigo r rarely shows it, but his battle IQ is definitely up there. That is pretty goddamn smart to keep it on the blade. <clears throat> so, is Ichigo not using the mask because of Orohime or some shit? Because he saw the look Orohime gave him? That's one. I'm gonna have a counter in my- Oh, bitch. Is that the fucking- I thought we were cool with her. Didn't we heal her? And save her best friend? She kinda cute though, no cap. Bitch, man, we we literally healed her ass from death and saved her friend from her torso getting ripped off or blown off by a fucking Rinjo. What was wrong with these bitches, bro? <laughs> Make me, man. I don't know what it is about Urukura, but I like him, bro.
Whoa. Wait. No. No way she's doing that, right? Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> My boy Urukuda is prepared for your tactics, Ichigo. Come on, man. That was dope. Damn. <clears throat> well, his release form looks kind of cool, and I was not expecting it. So, is he basically an Espada, being the leader of the Ezekiwas? I'd, I'd consider that, right? Look, look at that. Orihime is fucking healing her. See? Orihime's heart is too good. You know? It's too good. But I get it. Did he just fucking one shot her with a golf? <laughs> My god, he did. Man, I liked her form too. <laughs> the Bowman! Damn. Okay, I don't know one arrow would actually pack that much punch, but good shit. Can you, Ishida? Can you? Well, we've kind of seen everything that Ishida has. Pretty much his strongest move is the, his fucking lightsaber, so let's see if that works. Alright, I lied. We're actually going to watch three episodes today. 267, 268, and 269. Here we go. Okay. Ishida versus U oh sorry. Yami. <laughs> Should be good. I think he can handle it. He's number ten Espada, right? So he sh technically is weaker than all the other Espadas we've seen. Should be alright. Wow. Really? Dude, what the fuck? That's kind of OP, so that means we have to kill the head of the snake. That's the only way we beat this guy. Go for the, go for the source. Oh, is this the fucking... The fucking hexagon attack that he did earlier against Xylaporo? Well, this one hits pretty goddamn hard. So maybe, maybe this will be enough, huh? Yeah. 
Whoa! What is this? Oh shit! Fucking a minefield? And a wrong car minefield, huh? Good shit. Mayuri. Damn. GG Ishida. That was a quick fight. Good stuff. He actually dealt with him a lot easier than I thought. Yami got baited and outsmarted. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's time. Let's go. <laughs> oh shit, he's about to break his sword right already? Siddle. Is it me or does Ichigo's mask get red every more red every time? Am I, am I tripping? I could have sworn it was just the top left that was red. Oh, maybe I'm just fucking seeing things. That's a sick fucking view right there. Oh shit. Is he, is he doing it? <gasps> Murcielago. Holy shit. Also, isn't Murcielago a fucking Lamborghini type? Or am I pretty sure that is. Wait, is that is it raining Riyasu? Yikes! Oh my god! <gasps> He's got wings. He's got bat wings. Bro. Oh. My. Goodness. Oh, he looks cool. He looks like a fucking vampire, dude. Ah! And he's crying even more. I love it. The music in the background. Oh my god. Don't let your guard down for a moment. Don't blink. <gasps> oh fuck. Oh fuck. Did he just hit him right away? I couldn't even react. <laughs> Holy shit. He already drew blood in that instant. Did his hair get longer too? Fuck. That's cool, bro. Oh, he's got a cool ass form. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> um, okay. Wow. This is gonna be fucking crazy. So, tomorrow, I will be watching, um, however lo much longer, uh, the Ichigo versus Urukuda fight is. I'm hoping it's only three. If it's four, I'll try. Um, but as you guys know, because the copyright gods are looking upon me, I have to, it's going to be really hard to fit three episodes in. So, if I cut some of your favorite moments out, some of your, like, you know, very, you know, interesting moments that you may want to see, sorry. I'm probably just going to keep the most important shit. That's just what I got to do. Sorry. Um, but, dude, 
His? What is he, a bat? I think he's a bat. Holy fuck. He's a bat, but he also has like the attire of a, of a lord. Which, oh, a, oh my god, it actually looks fucking cool. I'm trying to think. Let me see a picture of Grimjo. Let me see a picture of Grimjo. Grimjo Resurrection. Um, because Grimjo is number one for me. And the question is, is Udo Kudos cooler than Grimjo's? <sighs> Fuck. I'm trying to like picture Grimjo fight too. I don't know, bro. I think it's very close. I think I have to see Urukura fight and then I'll know. Cause honestly, it's right there. His form is, he has got bat wings, his hair got longer, he's got even more tears streaming down his face. Oh, and he's got a, what is that? His weapon? Oh fuck, it's so cool, dude. <laughs> it's actually cooler than I thought, you know what I'm saying? Oh fuck, this fight's gonna be fire. This fight's gonna be fire. Um, the problem here is Ichigo is already outmatched in Vizard form. So what the fuck? I mean, I, I already, I already kind of predicted this, right? Um, because it took everything that Ichigo had against Grimjo, the number six, uh, I predicted that it was going to take him more than just his Vizard form to beat Urukuda. And we're just now seeing this right now. Of, I mean, of course, right? If if six and four, I mean, there's a, there's a huge gap in between, you know what I'm saying? Then he's definitely going to need something more. Now, I don't know what that's going to be. I, yeah, I don't know. But he's going to have to bring it out. Because what what his Vizard is literally not enough, and we just saw that in that instant, right? Urukura did that easily. He even warned him: "Do not blink, do not fucking, do not take take a take away you notice for a moment." Boom, hit him, sliced him in the eye, like. Oh my God, this is insane! I can't wait to watch this fight, bro. I, I'm gonna try to capture as much of the fight as I can on the YouTube, but of course I will have something ready um, in the, the in um, you know I'll, I'll have something ready tomorrow to where you guys can watch possibly a full reaction of the full Ichigo versus Urukura fight. I'll have something ready by that by that tomorrow, so I'll, I'll release not only the YouTube version but I'll also release um, a version somewhere else. Where you guys will be able to watch it for free. You don't have to pay for it either. I, 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 I pretty much owe you guys that much. The, the Ichigo versus Urukura fight. I know a lot of people have been waiting for it. You know, so it'd be wrong of me to have you guys pay for this sick ass fight. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be totally free, and it, uh, I'll put it somewhere. You'll you'll know tomorrow, right? You'll know tomorrow. Um, but anyway, I am so hyped. His his resurrection form looks so goddamn cool. Oh, I, I can't wait to he see his Grand Ray Cero too, if it changes colors and if it changes like looks. Oh man. Oh man. This might be the most hyped I've been in Bleach. The second was probably Byakuya, right? I think that's fair to say. Because the Byakuya was fucking crazy. Because I couldn't wait to see his Bankai. But in this sense, it's more I can't wait to see Urukura. I can't wait to see the, 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 the op fight, the opposing. Oh my god! <laughs> cool, man. Well, Ichigo, you better think, you better pull something out of your fucking ass, bro, because your Vizard is not enough, and he showed that to us immediately. So, I don't know what Ichigo's gonna do, but then again, um, I never root against the protagonist, because guess what? They have uh, something that everyone else doesn't have in the show fucking pr plot armor. So, let's see what, he, let, let's see what happens, and, um,. Hopefully Ichigo can can win this fight, bro. And hopefully Urukura doesn't fucking kill Ichigo. The thing is, Urukura, dude, it's so it's so interesting. His character doesn't seem cruel, even though I know he's a bad guy, even though I know he asks some from some very weird questions. Um, but when he when he says things like, "What is a heart? Uh, what are you feeling right now?" I feel like those are genuine. I feel like he's not being an asshole. I think he genuinely doesn't know what people are feeling, what emotions are, and stuff like that. And he's really and he's genuinely curious. Like he wants to know more about them. You know what I'm saying? So he didn't seem like a cruel person. So I'm hoping he doesn't kill Ichigo. Uh, but then again, that is his job. So and 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 as soon as he deems Ichigo not worthy of fighting, he's probably gonna body him anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, man. I can't wait to watch this fight, bro. Fuck. Well, one more day. 
uno more day. Uh, anyway, I guess we'll talk about Ishida versus Ishida versus Yami. I mean, he pretty much outsmarted him there. Used his brains, used some a little bit of Mayuri tech with the Arankar mines. Those are, those will probably become very useful in the future. Defeated Yami, which is not which is no surprise. Yami was number ten at spotter, right? So there wasn't really no threat there since we've, since we've already dealt with nine through five. You know what I'm saying? So. No surprise there. Um, we still got to deal with this with this Ezekiel guy, this Rudabon. His his power actually seems kind of um, kind of OP. You know what I'm saying? He could keep making fucking soldiers um, through his through his roots and through his you know branches uh, of a, of a back. You know, luckily we have uh, Chad and Renji to help out. But I, I mean, that fight seems pretty simple to me. You you cut the head of the snake, the rest of it dies. So they need to just kill Rudabon, and then every every other thing would die. You know what I'm saying? So that fight should be easy to deal with. And of course, we still have the Fights over at Fate Karakuta Town, aka Rukon District. The three Espadas, Stark, Heidi Bell, and Barigon. Um, we'll, we'll get to those as soon as we finish Ichigo vs. Urukuda. A fight I can't wait to watch. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, um, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I will see you next Bleach video where we're gonna watch. A very hyped fight. Everyone's been hyping up, hyping it up in the comments. My friends IRL have been hyping it up, and this episode that I just watched also hyped me up. So the hype level is at level ten. I'm hoping it delivers, and I'm sure it will. You know what I'm saying? So y'all have a good one. I'm at this bitch. Peace.